we are going to basically walk through a um, overview of Cloud Count, um, how to start it, how to create some budgets, delete some budgets, enter some lines and sublines, and um, and then we'll show you how to uh, delete some information in Cloud Count. Uh, Cloud Count is a cloud-based system, uh, which means it uh, runs in the cloud. Actually, it uh, runs on the desktop, but the the data for Cloud Count is stored in the cloud. And at present, for this demo, the cloud happens to be in Dallas, Texas. <coughs> um, and um, uh, the other key thing about Cloud Count, however, is that uh, it is launched through the web browser. And in fact, as you can see here, uh, I have uh, Mozilla, Firefox Mozilla open. And you will notice here that I have this uh, URL. Uh, if you go to this URL, you'll, it should open up this page, at least uh, for the time being. Um, in the future, this URL uh, will probably change. But for now, if you go to this URL right here and put that into your uh, browser, um, it uh, should open this page. Now, um, this has been tested uh, in Mozilla. Um, and um, it has not been tested in um, Internet Explorer, but um, we've run uh, different versions of uh, this application um, in uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, so we're pretty confident it works over there, although we're not running it over there today, over there in uh, Internet Explorer today. And um, <clears throat> we have uh, not tested it in uh, Safari. Uh, we've tried it in uh, Chrome, uh, Google's Chrome, um, and uh, it does not work reliably in Google Chrome. So um, the best place to run uh, the application is uh, in Mozilla Firefox, which we uh, pretty much um, are sure that works uh, pretty well. In any case, that's what we're going to be running today. So you can see here... Um, we have this link if we uh, on this page if we um, just click this link here this will launch uh, cloud count I'm just gonna click this link here and you'll notice that it gives this uh, a pop-up this little dialog here um, in this case uh, it needs to open this file that uh, is the link on this page and I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK um, <clears throat> and we'll wait for that to just get started Um, now, depending on uh, how far uh, you are from the, uh, the cloud um, in Dallas, uh, will determine how long this um, may take to actually get started. Um, and you can see here it took a few minutes, and this is just to get started. Um, and you'll notice here that this is a, a security kind of warning here um, that the digital signature could not be verified um, that's that's okay uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click allow and then you'll notice right here that it it pops up the the cloud count um, uh, login um, dialog now this is code name this version is code named Mongolian fire count uh, which is due to Thang Pham, who uh, you know we'd like to give credit for, for actually uh, creating most of the code here, um, and um, and um, and so this is just the code name, the Mog the Mongolian fire count. So the username here is going to be admin. I'm just going to type that in, and then the password. Uh, I've already sent it out, so I'm just going to type that in. Um, And um, so I put in that password. And I'm going to go ahead and click login. <clears throat> and <clears throat> and you can see here that um, that once we got through the login, um, this is what we call the main screen. Um, the main screen we call the dashboard. And the dashboard is basically the central place for um, 
uh, starting, um, you know, working with uh, budgets and cloud count. And, and you can see here that, that uh, we have uh, file um, menus, we have uh, tools, uh, we have the admin. Uh, we're not going to be using file or tools today. Uh, we will be using a little bit of the admin, in particular uh, budgets. We're going to uh, be creating and deleting and modifying some budgets. And then uh, we have the help here. Um, and then uh, off the tool uh, bar, I'm sorry, the, uh, the menu bar, you'll see here that we do have um, an entry in here. And this is the uh, showing one budget that is in the pending status. Um, and this budget is titled the test budget. I created this uh, budget earlier. Um, and it's the only one that's in the system right now. And you can see here that we get we have some uh, some accounting information um, for this particular budget, which is all zero zero zero, all zeros, um, because we entered no budget information uh, for this test budget, um, and so that's all zeros there. So I'm just going to go ahead and and um, and create a new budget by going to the admin uh, menu and get its uh, submenu drop down. I'm going to go to budgets and do create. And then uh, you see here we have this, uh, this dialog that um, requests input of information for the budget. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in a title. It's going to be the 2012 budget. And I'm going to put in a description here. It's budget. Um, and you'll notice here that this budget covers the period from today, uh, uh, 25th of May 2012, to the 25th of May 2013. These are the default uh, configurations. You can change this if you click the um, if you click uh, this pop up here. It looks like this particular. Uh, hold on, let me put this away here. Uh, popped off the screen there. I'm going to move it over here so that calendar will pop up more on the screen you can see it there um, and this allows you to change the the actual calendar um, for from uh, for the from uh, field and then of course we get the same thing here for the to field um, this role here is the weekly what we call the weekly role that is um, for inputting um, information into the budget um, the budget will automatically uh, step us through on a weekly uh, basis. Um, this is the default, but you can see here we have daily, bi-weekly, monthly, and so on and so forth. Um, and then um, we have uh, the two sides of a budget here, the income and the expenditure side. Um, and again, I'm sorry, but it looks like that a, a part of this uh, dialogue here is sort of cut off at the bottom there. Um, I'll fix that in the um, in the next uh, in the next installment of these uh, tutorials. And then um, then we have some some uh, controls here that will allow us to reorganize the lines. Uh, then we have some controls here that were, uh, for the income side. Then we have some controls here to allow us to. Um, change the ordering of the uh, expenditure side lines. Um, the plus key will add a line. Uh, the minus will delete a line. Um, and same here on the expenditure side. So I'm just going to save this uh, budget here. And then you'll see here that the budget uh, has been successfully saved. And then I'm just going to click OK. And you'll notice here that when we pop back to the dashboard, um, it does not show that budget in there. Uh, that's something we we have noted and we'll need to um, fix. But um, if it doesn't show up, um, we can always click the the refresh, and then that that basically refreshes the dashboard with the latest budget uh, information. Um, you can see here that uh, there is an exit here that will allow us to exit out of the uh, out of Cloud Count. I'm just going to do that and end this um, um, initial uh, introduction to CloudCount. Very simple. There's a lot more to show, so uh, stay tuned.